He just confiscated my phone. Here you go. He you can took. Have it back. I don't think that the criminal court system is the appropriate place for this to be dealt with. You can't videotape you, me. You can't just yes, walk I up can. to somebody. You investigated your own and you found no wrongdoing. It Why physically you... touched me. I have it all on body camera. I don't believe the actions warrant a criminal charge. I think you're a big tough guy, huh? Welcome back to the Lackluster Channel. In July of 2024, Jay from Ontario Audit filmed outside the Halton Regional Police 3rd District Headquarters in Burlington. His initial observation was that the agency's large CCTV security station was visible from the public sidewalk through a large open window. Oh, look at that. Let's see if we can see where I am. Yeah, man, that's the gym. Doesn't look like anyone's working out, though. Shortly after, he noticed a gray vehicle exit the department's parking lot, which then drove straight until out of sight. However, it appears the van immediately conducted a U-turn and drove past Jay. This will become relevant later. Oh, there it is. You've been spotted, buddy. Nice try, though. Before heading home for the day, Jay noticed that they closed the blinds to the security room. Oh, they closed that one. Yeah, smart, smart, smart. They closed the one with the security footage. <laughs> then, while walking home, he notices the same vehicle from earlier. I see you, bro. Yo, it's him again, man. Jay would then stop at a McDonald's, but when he exited, he noticed Constable Matthew Spina in a black truck in the parking lot. This guy's a cop, bro. This guy's a f cop following me to f McDonald's. So I tried to get back to my car. Uh, stopped at a McDonald's because you know I thought I was being followed, right? I was being chased by a sea breeze. A uh, Sebring, sorry, a gray one. So I come outside and I got this guy here. Definitely a cop. They so, they're so bad at being undercover. Fearing again that he was being followed, Jay decided to head back to the police station. And sure enough, Constable Spina followed Jay on foot into a residential neighborhood. So I've been... I've been being uh, stalked. I'm being stalked by a gray Sebring SUV. And uh, I go into the McDonald's to use the bathroom. Why are you videotaping me? I'm picking up my daughter. What's your Are you videotaping me? Hey, don't hey. touch my shit, buddy. Don't videotape you me. You can't do that, man. Don't break don't my video. stuff. You, I'm not breaking you anything. The, give me my phone back, man. No. Don't videotape okay. me. I'm in front of, yeah, I'll wait for the police. Don't yeah, worry. Yeah, we will, and you'll be charged with assault, brother. Yeah, okay. Fine, we'll you make. will. Yeah, okay. We're, yeah, so 911 on the phone. He just confiscated my phone. Here you go. You he can took, have it back. He confiscated my phone and Why physically touched me. Have it all on body camera. By all means. Have it all on body camera, but you can't touch somebody else. You can't videotape you can't, me. You can't just yes, walk I up can. to somebody. Yes, I can. By all means. Do yes, I thing. can. Get the cops come, brother. Yeah, don't you worry. You just fucked yourself. Think you're By a big means. tough guy? Think you're a big tough guy, huh? Dude, this is all recorded, too. Why, are you, why are you walking up to me videotaping me? Could a big tough guy give my phone back now because he's scared of getting charged. He knows he fucked up. Did the wrong thing. On the phone with the cops. That's the entitlement with these people, man. This guy walks over to me 
as he's saying, I'm on the phone with the cops. Why are you following me as he's coming up to me? And now he wants to grab my phone away from me and grab and touch my hand, physically assault me. That's great. I can't wait, buddy. No, by all means. You want to wait for him or? Jay now notices the other vehicle that had been following him earlier, parked just down the street. White male, wearing a gray shirt, green shorts, Nike running shoes, black trim, hair up in a man bun. Sleeve tattoo on the left hand side. They know who I am. I don't know who you are. They know who I am. Okay, cool. Tell him you assaulted me, buddy. Make sure you tell him that. Make, don't make a false police report, because you know what? I'm going to stick with you. You make a false police report, that's another charge. That's I'll another charge, brother. I'll wait for you here, don't worry. Sure. There's one right there, man. Undercover right there. Okay. He's been following me this whole time. You want to go talk to him then? Go ahead, sure. All right. He's been following me. Go ahead, go talk to him then. Sure. I'm just curious why you're following me. No one was following you. You sat there. Look at your video. You have it on Did I video. videotape you? Yeah. Was I in a public area? Yeah. You're also videotaping children going into McDonald's. Did I do That's that? That's concerning to me. Did I do that? Yeah. Okay, well, we'll wind it back and see how many children walk inside. Evidence. Yeah. Evidence. All right, yeah. I do have the evidence of you assaulting me, sir. <laughs> Jay then approaches the unmarked vehicle to confront the driver as Sergeant Jared McMillan arrives on scene. I'm assuming you're the unmarked unit that's been following me for the past couple hours? Yeah? You're the guy that's been following me? Hey, don't tell any lies, brother. Don't tell any lies. I'm saying that you were following me. I didn't, I didn't follow you. Don't tell any lies, brother. Make your police report. Don't tell any lies. You tell him who you are. Go ahead. I told them who I am. I don't have to tell him who I am. Sir, I would like him charged with assault. He grabbed my phone, grabbed my arm took it away from me, tried to break my phone. I have it on my body camera. Yeah, sure, no problem. because yeah, he was stepping up to me, putting his phone in my face. A few moments ago. Why are you videotaping me? Why are you following me? Why are you videotaping me? You, you can videotape me all you like. But why are you videotaping me? Because he was stepping up to me, putting his phone in my face. Why are you videotaping me? Hey, are you sure about that? Yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Don't worry, sir. We'll see what happened, brother. Just give me a moment here, I'll find it, sir. You're not a great unmarked unit, man. You're not you're not good at following people. Yeah, you're not you're not good at following people. Try to follow me like uh, You've been trying to follow me for quite some time. <laughs> I don't know. Why were you? Multiple places. What's your name? You're not very good. I don't want to give my name at this time, okay. sir. What can, what can I call you then? What do you want me to call you? You can call me good Canadian citizen. Yeah, okay, I'll just call you man. Okay? Thank you. That's perfectly okay. fine. Sergeant McMillan? Is that your name? Yeah, that's my last name. Thank you. What's your name, sir? <laughs> Officer Dupuis. Thank you, Officer Dupuis. Just pulling it up here, sir. One second. Okay. Just give me a second. No, I was just trying to see you. Yep. There we go. I believe it even has audio. You wanna you wanna hold it? It's kinda small. What time is this at? This is roughly uh a few times gone on there. Um maybe it might 10, 15 bottom, minutes ago. I, I can't see it. Okay, I yeah. just curious. I mean just before he called 911. I mean, you can, you'll see him approach me and assault me. I did nothing but stand still. Oh. Is he playing? Yeah, oh, okay. yeah, sorry. He's playing. yeah, he's okay. As he's on the phone with 911, he did that, so. 
Yeah, no, I have all these details. It's on my computer. Okay. He's still talking to me. All right. Are you able to email that? Most certainly, sir. Want to give me your business card? I don't have any cards on me. I'll give you my details if you want. Yeah, you just want to say it. You just want to say it verbally. Okay, so the email is my first name. It's J A R E D dot McMillan. M -A -C. Jared McMillan. Yeah, M A C M I L L A N. Thank you. I'll talk to you soon. Thank you, Sarge. After exchanging information, the constable in the unmarked unit denies that he was ever following Jay. I, I think it's a big waste of taxpayers' dollars that you're like following me around, though, man. <laughs> I mean, I I've saw you like ten times. I mean, you'll see you'll see it in the video. Yeah. I hope so, man, because you are not very stealthy at all. If you're following me, you're not very good at it, brother. If you were trying to follow me, you have no street smarts. Zero. I could tell you came from the suburbs. Well, you want to know who I am, right? Because I've been recording. You guys want to know who I am so bad. You guys have asked my name many times. You always ask people's names in the right? Yeah, but I, I'm the guy that doesn't give it because I know my Canadian Charter rights. And you guys can't take that. You want my name so bad that uh, even the, the police stations I've been to before try to follow me. Jay eventually inquires with Sergeant McMillan whether Constable Spino will be charged, and the sergeant begins the defense of one of his own. Do you know this person? Not at all, sir. Do you want to give me an audio statement? Uh, not at this time. I mean, you saw the video. I mean, it pretty much speaks for itself. And I'll send you the video and you'll see it. Any other questions from you? Thank you, Sergeant McMillan. Uh, will you be charged or will I have to wait for the video? I mean, I'm you gonna wait for the video and I'll be straight up with you if you're not willing to give me your details. Okay. okay. Because so I'm sure you know a little bit about how the court system yeah. The court's going to want more information. If I have a good report and we'll talk to him, I will document your video and you send it to me. But that matter is pretty much going to stop there. Okay. And to be honest, I've lost it. Okay. okay. So well, at this you, time, I'm not sure. I'd have to consult with my lawyer, but um, email, yeah, yeah, so exactly. Yeah. I mean, I'll send you the video, and then from there, we'll. Yep. Okay. Thank you, Sergeant. See you later, Detective. Get your cloak on, man. Get your cloak on. It's not working. You can't fool me, bro. I know you're out here following me, brother. I'm not dumb. Waste the taxpayers' money, brother. I'm no threat to you guys at all. After the incident, it took several phone calls to get the name of the constable that assaulted him. Is it Constable Spina? Yeah. Not detective, not sergeant? Uh, nope. Police constable. Thank you so much, ma'am. No I really appreciate that. You have a great day. Thank you know, you, do you know I called six times to get this information and nobody would help me? Everyone was trying to, like, avoid me because they know that the police officer did something wrong? Jay eventually decided to provide his information to pursue charges against Constable Spina, but Sergeant McMillan stopped responding to Jay's calls and emails. I refused to give you my name at the time, but I'm giving you my name and information now. I've emailed you the incident uh, of the assault and the man who took my phone from me and assaulted me. I'm hoping you do the right thing here and press charges against this man or I'm just gonna have to take it to the courts and do it myself, man. The people are watching. Do the right thing, McMillan. With no responses, Jay decided to post the video to YouTube, causing citizens to contact the agency and express their concerns. Shortly after the release of that video, the sergeant emailed Jay claiming to be on vacation and notifying him that a supervisor or himself would be in touch on the 25th. Jared McMillan. Is not available. Record your message at the tone. I was just following up on that time I got assaulted uh, the other day by one of your undercover officers. Uh, well, I'm pretty sure he's one of your undercover officers. I'll find out soon enough. I was wondering what's going on with that. Uh, I would like charges to be pressed on that deranged individual who put his hands on me and stole my equipment and put it in his pocket. Please do the right thing. I look forward to speaking with you. This is not the last time I'll be calling. Have a nice day. But it wasn't until two months after the incident 
that Jay was contacted by Detective Mark Murray. I just wanted to introduce myself and let you know I've been assigned to investigate uh, your interaction with the Holden officer from a little while ago. Yep. Jay once again explained what happened. So during this whole time, has uh, Detective Matthew Spina been employed still? I mean, obviously like he's been employed. Has he been suspended with pay? Has he been on the streets? I honestly don't know for sure, but my belief is that no, he's not suspended. Oh, that's great. That's great news. All right. All right, Mark. I'll talk to you soon. Finally, on his third call with Detective Murray, the officer revealed his findings. So I just wanted to give you the update. I haven't finished my report yet, but I did meet with the Crown on whatever day it was last week. Um, and I showed him the video and I showed him your statement and everything. We went over it several times. At the end of the day, the Crown said uh, that there was uh, reasonable and probable grounds to lay a criminal charge of mischief against Constable Spina if I deemed it necessary to go through criminal court. Can you hear me? Yep. Um, I'm sure you're not going to be thrilled about this, but after doing a full investigation, I do not feel that it is warrants a criminal charge. So I will not be laying a criminal charge. It will go down to the uh, Police Service Act level for further investigation. All right. All right. Do you have any questions? No, nah, man. You investigated your own and you found no wrongdoing, even though. No, I did, I did not say that. I did not say that. What I said is, I don't believe the actions warrant a criminal charge. He will be further investigated at the Police Service Act level because that's what the Police Service Act is there for, for when officers do misconduct while on duty. I did not say he didn't do anything wrong. I feel that there are some things there that need to be dealt with, but I don't feel that going through criminal court is appropriate for what happened. And why is that? Because... I don't believe there was any criminal intent in anything he did. I do believe that some of his actions were, were require some sort of review internally, but I don't believe there was any criminal intent on anything he did. So him physically putting his hands on me, taking my property, well, putting it into his I pocket. Slowed, I <laughs> slowed the video down about 20 times and watched every screenshot I could, and I never see him make contact with you. He makes contact with the phone, and he pulls the phone out of your hand, Which is but I extension. never see him make contact with you. The phone is an extension of my body, sir. Well, I mean, that's your opinion. I mean, there, the, obviously the offense of assault would be direct or indirect. So by taking the phone, he is he is um, causing some sort of contact, indirect contact with your body. But again, there's two, there's two elements to every offense. There's the actus reus and the mens reus. The, act, the actus reus is the guilty act, and the mens reus is the guilty mind. And I don't believe that he had a criminal intent in anything that he did. Again, I do believe it needs further review, and I do believe that there will be some sort of, um, I don't know what the word I'm looking for is. I do feel that it will be handled at a different level, but I don't think it's in the best interest of the public or anybody to have what happened between the two of you go through the criminal court. All right, let me ask you one more question. Yep. If Constable... Spina was recording me on a public sidewalk and I went up to him and I grabbed his phone would I be under arrest well what I'll tell you is is that what we believe is that if this was two civilians nobody would have been arrested oh so, for sure I would still press charges what do you mean I was assaulted and my property was stolen from me well like I said before even the crown I reviewed it with didn't believe there was an assault or a theft Okay. What he believed there was reasonable probable grounds for was a mischief because in the verbiage for mischief, there's a line that says interfering with the lawful use of somebody's property. And, um, and what's, which, the, what's the definition for uh, theft? Um, taking someone's pro property and putting it in their pocket? That doesn't reach the definition of theft, sir? Well, because, it's, because for theft, it's to convert to their own use, and there was no intent to convert to his own use. Oh, he turned so off I, my rec he, the, the recording device was actually turned off, so... Let me, let me make one thing aware to you if you're not too sure about it. RV Seraphinitis gives us the right to record police officers in the line of duty. That officer oh, yeah. was in the line of duty. I'm a journalist working on a story about officers. I was assaulted. My property was stolen. You guys are looking at the complete wrong charge. Mischief? Sir, that's an obstruct. I forget the exact words, but 
he intimidated a journalist, that's a very, very serious charge. So we watched the video. We watched the video of the Crown and I several, several times. You never identified yourself as a journalist to him as he walked up to you because we actually looked at that charge. But for that charge, you have to identify yourself as a journalist. I didn't have a chance to identify myself as a journalist. I was assaulted. I was, I, mean, I was ran up on and I was assaulted. Look, sir, I'm going to have to make a co leak a complaint on you now as well. I mean, it is what it is. Uh, I'm disappointed. I'm, dis fine. I'm disappointed in you, man. I'm very disappointed in you. By your logic, it's okay for undercover officers to going around uh, just grabbing people's phones out of their hands. There's no problem with that. Right? There's no criminal See, again, There's no criminal intent in that. Again, you're, you're, you're going to take it how you want to take it, and I understand that you're upset. I know what happened between you and Toronto. So I'm sure that's probably part of why you're upset. But I'm not saying that it was okay. I'm not at all saying that it was okay. All I'm saying is I don't believe there's criminal intent. I don't believe it's in the best interest of the public to put it through criminal court. And I don't think that the criminal court system is the appropriate place for this to be dealt with. I don't, I don't think it's in the... For those reasons. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's, what it'll, that's what it'll be dealt with under. I don't think it's in the public's interest to put him through the criminal court is what you just said. I completely right. disagree with that. I think the public is going to be outraged with that. With what you just huh? said, I think the public will be outraged, sir. Maybe. I don't I don't think there's I don't yeah. All right. I think the general person that's not involved in the situation would watch the video and say, "Yeah, the officer did something wrong, but that is not worth a criminal charge." That is my opinion. And honestly, that's all I'm putting forward here is my opinion. It will go up to the higher-ups, and they'll make a decision from there. It's not supposed so, to be your opinion, sir. You're supposed to uphold the law. <laughs> okay. Okay. How are you saying like that? If you have any questions, call me back. Once the report's done later this week or early next week, it'll go to a professional standards bureau. They'll review it. They'll make a decision whether they agree with my findings or not. Uh, if they don't agree with me, they'll, they could proceed with a criminal charge. If they do agree with me, it'll be... Uh, investigated under Police Service Act at the next level. Have a good day, sir. Okay, bye. If the court is not the proper venue to deal with an incident like this, I'd like to know what Cross Street's Mark expects people to meet. But honestly, I'm more interested in your opinion as the general public. Is Mark correct? I don't think that the criminal court system is the appropriate place for this to be dealt with. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you enjoy this video, be sure to give Jay a visit. His links will be down below. I don't think that the criminal court system is the appropriate place for this to be dealt with.